ഇസ്മ <laughs> this one that that is in front of you and remind me which property have we been working on who is going to remind me in the chat box type which property of ism very well done exactly we are working on status easy 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 my default status is my default status is rough very good job rough what is meant by rough status what are you expecting to see on that word or in the end of that word you are hoping to see either um dhamma meaning pesh or you are expecting to see if you are dealing with pair then ani yeah ani and if you are dealing with plurals then what type of sound are you expecting to see in um rough status una very good job una right good job very good job very well done and then you are hoping you are expecting you are going to remind yourself that is my default status i am expecting all the words to either have dhamma or have ani or have una there needs to be a reason if they are not in that status and tell me what other statuses are there other than like rough which other statuses you can see your word in do you guys remember barakallahu feekum very well done very good job nasb or jar can there be both nasb or jar to any ism yes or no 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 so i this is very like let's listen to this statement again either the word is going to be in nasb box or in the jar box okay inshallah we will be learning how can you tell you guys are super super smart inshallah in few weeks you will be telling this word is nas this word is jar okay and i will give you the translation okay and that will make your life super easy now tell me if i am giving you a detail of an any ism or any action i should say action so if i am giving you a detail of an action what type of status would you give that is good job very well done you are going to say that is my nasb status very well done good job nasb status good how about okay so listen carefully this is very important listen carefully if i tell you the word is coming after of or the word is coming after preposition what status are you expecting that word to have jar very well done very good job super duper good job very good job now another tricky question are you guys ready how many kinds of sentences or ayas would you see would you are you hoping to see in quran how many kinds of ayas <clears throat> two kinds barakallahu feekum very good job either your aya is going to be talking about an action or your aya is going to be talking about nouns and there is no particular action in that aya okay so now let's focus on the first kind of aya okay this time i'm saying aya because i i, I want you guys to be super familiar with the quran okay okay so it's okay it's okay barira now focus and answer the questions here so now if i am giving you aya which is verbal which has an action what is the first step what should be the first step in your mind action give me the action give me the action give me the action and then i will tell you the statuses okay so you are going to ask yourself say if nahal is listening yeah you know nahal is working on aya sayeda nahal so she is going to ask herself herself you know subhanallah i am not going to worry about the role right now i need to know about action or the type of sentence that is my first question and then i will figure out 
Okay, so now you are seeing in your aya, in your aya, you are given an action, you have found the action. What is the second step? Good job, Ahmed, very well done. Then you need to find the doer and then comes after the doer, after the doer. There's always a doer. But, you, but does it need to, that does your sentence, so listen carefully, does your sentence, does your ayah always need to have detailed? Yes or no? Always need to have detail. No, very good job. You may not see a detail and that is okay. Yeah? Allah created us. Do you see any detail here? Yes or no? Allah created us. 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 Who did Allah create? You are giving me the detail. Yeah? Yes, exactly. Us, exactly. Here you are, um, you are seeing a detail is there. Yeah? But if I tell you, if I tell you, um, Allah does not get tired. Allah, Allah does not get tired. Getting tired is my action. Yeah? But you do not see any detail and that is okay. Meaning not every time in a sentence you will have a detail. Okay. So I, I'm just going to go through the um, slides real quick. So that I, as I told you, I want you to be very familiar with these slides. So doer is called rough. Then comes my detail and that is nasp. And then comes the status after off. By the way, when we talk about rough and we talk about haraka. What kind of haraka do I mean when I say the words in judge status? Kasra. Very good job. And what is the Urdu name for this word? Kasra. Aliza is going to tell me. Maryam is going to tell me. Ibrahim is going to tell me. Zaid. Very good job. Oh, Swanana, look at that. Our kids who, are, who have learned um, in the Arabic, they also know that this is a Zaid. Very good job. Super do. You guys are super smart. And I'm very sad about that. Okay, let's look at this one. If I give you, this is a detail. This is a nasp ism. What kind of haraka? What do you think? What kind of haraka? Fatha. Very good job, Nabira. Very well done. Fatha. What is the Urdu name of Fatha? Who remembers that? Mm. Zabar. Very well done. Good job. No, no, Aliza. No. For nasb, when you are looking at the ism, which is nasb, then you are hoping to see fatha, which is a zabar. Okay, zabar. Very good job. Very well done. How about rough? What kind of haraka do you see with the rough? Muslim mun, Muslim man, Muslim in. You should not be confused about what kind of haraka because you should know the table by now. Yeah. So you should know Muslim mun comes first, that is rough, then comes my nasb, and then comes my jar. Okay. Very good job. Very well done. Super duper proud of you all. Okay, let's, let's look at this one. Again, we are going to remind ourselves we only need to look at the ending. Do not stress yourself out. If you are given a word which is very long, okay? So you are going to look at only one thing, ending. Look at the ending and give me the role. Give me the status, okay? Very well done. Ending changes. Good job. You guys are good with this concept, seems like. Okay. Then comes, um, we already covered this one. Oh, yes. Remind me, who is going to remind me when we talk about nominal sentences? Okay, I'm talking about nominal sentence. Allah is greatest. Yeah, Allah is greatest. How many kinds, I should say, how many parts of sentence are there? Do you guys remember that um, diagram, that figure, that image of two men bringing the puzzle pieces? Very good job. Exactly. Naming part and then the telling part. Yeah, two parts. Very good job. There are only two parts for that sentence. Usually, okay? <clears throat> for now, you need to know there are two parts. Okay, good job. By the way, what is the status of naming part? Main subject. Main thing in your sentence. What haraka, what status does that word will have? Very well done. Why rough? Why rough? Tell me the reason. Give me the reason. No, no, Nafisa, no. Not nasp. This is not a detail. I, I'm, I'm saying this is the naming part. Detail gets the nasp status, okay? Because this is a doer. Zofin is saying this is a doer. I'm in a nominal sentence. Allah is greatest. Allah is greatest. 
Why am I saying Allahu Akbar? Why am I saying Allahu Akbar? And I am seeing the, um, I would say for now, I would say these are wrong answers. I'm seeing a doer. No, you need to remind our, yourself that I am saying that because my rough is a default status. My rough is a default status. It's not a doer. It's not a doer. Okay. You are going to say, this is the naming part. Naming part is going to be default status. And that is rough. Yeah. That is rough. My subject, naming part, also called subject, is going to be rough. Okay. Very good job. Very well done. Okay. Let's talk about the telling part. Greatest. Yeah. Greatest. Mm, what status should I give the greatest? Rough, nasp, or jar? What do you think? No, no, no. No, Hadia, nope. No, Aliza, no. No, Anaya, no. Greatest. Why are you... It is coming... Is it coming after off or after preposition? Allah is greatest. Is this word greatest coming after off or after preposition? Yes or no? Give me yes or no first. I want to he hear from you guys. Is this coming after preposition? No. Is it coming after the word of? No. Can this be jar? Yes or no? Can this be jar? No, no, no. Barakallah fikum. Very good. You guys need to remind yourself. Okay, when I am going to, I'm, I'm not giving you any off word. I did not give you any preposition. How come this word be jar? No. You need to give it a dhamma. Okay? Dhamma, dhamma, dhamma. Why dhamma? If I ask you why Dhamma, why are you giving it a rough status, my dear Ahadiya? Why Ishal? Why rough? You are going to tell me that that is actually a default status. That is a default status. No, not nas. We do not see nas in nominal sentence. Keep reminding yourself in the deep in our nominal sentences. In this these ones only two parts, two parts, and both are rough. Okay, would you be able to keep that in mind? Both are rough. A rough is default. Exactly. Yeah. Rough is the default status. So you need to give both these part default status. When I'm talking, when I'm going to be talking about detail, then give me the nasp status. Otherwise, I don't need nasp. I cannot give any um, ism fatha or zabar. I cannot because that is on the detail. For now, you are going to remind yourself the detail you will be giving it a fatha. It's nasp. And that thing you see in the normal, uh, verbal sentences. Okay. Okay, let's go keep going then, inshallah. And I'm going to go over the Quranic examples and then it will be super clear, okay? Inshallah. Uh, yes, we covered this slide. We were also able to cover this one. And for the jar, please, jar is a very easy status. Super duper easy. Among all three, you will see jar is the easiest. The reason being, there are only two reasons. How many reasons for the word to be jar? Give me the number two. Write number two in the chat box. Only two reasons you will see your word is jar. Two reasons. Two reasons, two reasons, two reasons. Okay. What is the first one? Give me the first one. After off. My word is coming after off. Off, like the word off. Meaning house of Allah, brother of mine, kitten of mine, um, rules and laws of Allah. Yeah. In that case, you are going to see a jar status. First case, easy, very easy. It is coming after off, but then you're going to give it a jar status. Okay, second one, only two reasons. Second one is when it is coming after prepositions. Okay, coming after prepositions. Barakallah fikum, very well done, very good job. When it comes after prepositions, very good job, super duper good job. So proud of you all, very well done. Oh, yes, and do you guys remember this slide? I showed you this uh, this important tip here. Sometimes we get confused and we do, we, we think there is no jar in the sentence. Yeah. But we need to remind ourselves, you need to rearrange the words and make sure that you are clear with that. Okay. So if I give you the word, Allah has mentioned in the Quran multiple times, my azab, my azab. Yeah. So if I ask you, do you see in this word, my azab, any word which is going to be jar? Azab of mine. Very well done. Sayyida Nahal. Very good job. Exactly. This is the first step. She has written Azab of mine. Now everyone should be looking at the answer and now tell me. 
do you see in the uh, in the word adab of mine any word which will get judged at as there are only two isms here one is adab and one is mine which is a pronoun mine is jar very good job mine is jar mine is coming after of that is going to be jar okay very well done good job okay let's talk about this one we already talked about why not off aliza is this like is it off the word off is the word off uh, is now uh, answer this question help all of you guys remind myself and yourself is the word off 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 is it an ism so can i say it is also jar can i say the word is jar but is not an ism no not at all ism fail and herf among these three only ism have properties which are four okay you do not give properties to herf my herf does not have any property or you do not give any property to um fail okay you are going to keep that in mind okay okay uh let's keep going where is my zofin today hmm i'm missing her. oh yeah i saw her okay and rumesa where are you yes rumesa i changed your name did, did you notice your name was uh, different and i changed it because i really uh, know your name and i really love your mom so i really want uh, to see uh, rumesa's own name written okay okay let's keep going <clears throat> um yes we talked about these examples and then uh, we are going just one time and then inshallah i'll get, take you to the ayas actual ayas okay so now if i ask you do you see any word in this look at the third one okay third third sentence whatever is in the skies and the earth belongs to allah okay listen very carefully listen very carefully look at the uh, sentence whatever is in the skies and the earth belongs to allah and if anyone will tell me how many isms are in allah is jar very well done the lafz of jalala is jar if you will tell me how many isms in this sentence are jar i am going to do special clapping for you okay so very good job rehan very well done very good job very well so but like should i be clapping for all of you subhanallah so, this is amazing <laughs> this is amazing give me the exactly i really want that party emo emoji right now okay do, you are not supposed to share any emoji yeah do not share any emoji no 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 you are not going to go crazy here so be very very focused okay you guys are doing an awesome job today okay let's let's give me the first ism whatever the one of the 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 most common aya you will see this is one of the very commonly repeated aya lahu ma fis samawati wal ard yeah so you will notice this is a you would you have heard this aya multiple times okay now the game is exactly in this in in hmm this is a preposition here fis samawati and the earth both these words are going to be this the earth and the skies this is going to be um jar in status yeah because it is coming after in okay belongs to to allah very well done very good job you guys are super duper smart and i am i was not hoping uh, i was not expecting you guys to answer this this question this is a very very a uh, hard question um you will notice that in multiple times um yes aliza this is not only in, in one uh, aya okay let's keep going okay i am super duper happy and i am going to take you guys to the actual quran you already know these surahs yeah you already know these surahs yusuf you can move closer to me and i want you to answer these questions okay okay so yes exactly many of you guys know these surahs you guys are super duper awesome if you can tell me that there were three isms um today i am going to be super duper happy okay let's focus you or if you i will ask you you will notice you know it you just need you know the concept now start applying and for that you need to be very calm very uh, in a very in a good control first focus and then answer okay let's look at this one okay bi aqul a'udhu bi bi rabbin nas okay let's look at this one give me the status of the word rabbi 
Rabbi. Rabbi is Jar. Rayan is very right. Rabbi. Rabbi. No, but it only Jar. Because this is not this is not Yanun or wine uh, uh, like um, not in that category. Yeah, there is no combination. Only look at the haraka and then you can say Rabbi. This is my jar. Okay. Annasi. Which status? Rabbin Nasi. Status is jar. Very good job. Very well done. Okay. Now I'm going to give you the, uh, the um, translation. Write it down. Write down the translation in your notebook. Say, I seek refuge in, in the rub of people. Type in the chat box. One of you guys can type. In the rub of people. In the rub of people. Good job. Give me the, give me the sentence. Ahmed, write down the sentence, the whole sentence. Write it down. A good job. Very good job. You have already done it. Very good job. Just copy paste it. Okay, good job. Now tell me why this word is jar in status. Give me the reason. There are only, how many reasons are there? <clears throat> there are only, how many reasons are there? There are only two reasons, not three, Ahmed. No, no, no. Only two reasons for the word to be jar. Only two reasons for the word to be jar. Only two reasons. Give me why the rabbi word is jar. In the rub of the people. It is coming after preposition. I just, I'm saying in. What is this in word? Exactly. This is coming after preposition. That is the reason this word is jar. Easy. Because this is coming after. Yeah. All of you guys got it? Because I'm saying it. I'm giving the translation. In the rub of um, people. Okay. Let's look at this one. Why this word jar? Okay. Give me the why this word is jar. And nasi is jar. Why is this jar? Who, who can tell? Is this coming after of or is it coming after preposition? That is my question. Is it coming after of? No, Nafisa. That is just like a very superficial answer. Now I want you to act like a grammarian, okay? Because you are super awesome. You're super smart. You know it. Exactly. No, Nafisa. No, Zair. No, don't give me Kasra. I am saying, why is it taking Kasra? That is my question. And you are going to tell me it is taking Kasra because this word is rub off, off. There is an off here. Hidden off. It is coming after off. Okay. So you are saying, going to say, this is, there is an off here. This highlighted line of mine is telling you this is off. Okay, exactly. So now you see in this sentence, the use, the surah that you know when you were little babies. Yeah, literally, I'm sure when you were like little three-year-old, you know the surah. So now you should know why I was saying bi rabbin nasi, bi rabbin nas. Why was not it not bi rabbun nas, boo, 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 because that is the default status. Yeah, now you should be able to tell you it is coming after preposition and this word anasi was coming after word of. Both the reasons. If you guys got it, type 55 in the chat box. And if you didn't get it, type 66. 55 if you got it. 66 if you didn't get it. Okay, I am seeing there is a 66 here. Ishal. Ishal, what is your question, my dear? Um, hmm. Only Ishal didn't get it? And Zara and Zoya also didn't get it? Okay. Because I am saying 655 if you got it and 66. I am in the middle. Uh, 65. I am in the middle? No. Fatima, you should not be in the middle. There should not be any reason for anyone to be in the middle. If you know the word is Jar because of only two reasons. What is the reason? Fatima, type the first reason. Give me the first reason. And Fajr, you also give me the first reason. Why? The word takes kasra. Why the word takes um, zir? Give me the first reason. What is the first reason? Hadia, this is not the statement. It should not be given. The word is coming after of. Yeah. Or the word is coming after preposition. There are only two reasons. Okay. No, Fatima, now you're going to tell. This is jar. We have been talking. We have talked about it. This is jar. This is jar. This is taking kasra. The question I have is, what is the first reason? Why is this jar? 
Generally, give me the first reason why the word is jar. The word is jar because it is either coming after word of or it is coming after preposition. Okay. Okay, let's focus now. Mm, okay, let's look at this one. Now, give me the status of a Nasi in this sentence. A Nasi. A Nasi. A Nasi. Now, the question I'm asking is, give me the status. I'm not asking whether you got it or not. Give me the status now. Very good job. Very well done. Because you are looking at the Haraka. Is there a Kasra here? Is there a Zaid here? No, no confusion. It should be Jar. It, this is not Nasu. This is not an Nasa. This is an Nasi. C, C, C. Very good job. So now if I give you, now I'm, you're going to listen to the translation and then you're going to give me the reason for the Jar. Okay? Ready? Malik. Malik in Nasi. Owner of the people. Owner of the people. Or master of the people. Now tell me the reason. Why is Anasi Jar? Zofin, very well done. Abrar, very good job. Ahmed, very well done. Off. I'm saying off, off, off. There is a reason this Anasi is Anasi and not Anasu. Because Nasu is a default status. What happened to my default status? What happened here? Then are you going to tell me? Teacher Faiza actually is coming after the word off. Okay. Very good job. Look at this one. Ilahin nasi. Ilahin nasi. Why the word anasi is again jar? Ilah, the one to be worshipped. Or you can say for now, you can say ilah is ilah. Ilah of the people. Why is this jar? Why is it taking kasra? No, Zara Hadiya, this is not, you're not going to give me the, this is jar. Very good job. Now give me what, why, what is the reason? Ilah of people. It is coming after all. Very well done. Very good job. You guys got it. You are very smart. Let's keep going. Look at what is happening in this surah. And you guys know this surah so well. Now, next time when you look at the surah, you are going to pat yourself on the back. Because you know almost like more than 50 words. Okay. Min. Oh, there you go. Min. Okay. The question that I have for you. Status of Sherry. <coughs> Sherry. Status of Sherry. Bilal, what is the question? Sherry is jar. Good job. Very well done. From, okay, listen to the uh, translation now. From Sher, meaning from evil of Waswas. Okay, which is like, um, you can say uh, Waswas. Vaswasa is just like you are getting uh, whispering. Okay. From, look at this one. Look at it carefully. From evil of whispering. Okay. Let's now focus. Why is this word Sherry Jar, you already told me this is coming from after preposition from. Yeah. And then now you are seeing Alwaswasi is, give me the status of Alwaswasi. This is a big word. Do you guys know how to find the status of big word like this? Exactly. There you go. Look at the ending. Only look at the ending. Look at the ending. Good job. Very well done. There is no ya noon. There is no, no, no combination here. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. You are going to look at the haraka. Give me the status. <coughs> this is a kasra. Good job. Now tell me why is this word jar? Is it coming after a preposition or is it coming after the word of? From evil of whispering. Of. The very good job. This is coming after of. Very well done. Good job. Super duper good job. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Alladhi yuwaswi sufi. Hmm. Suduri. Anasi. What is happening here? What is? Give me the status of the first lesson. Give me the status of suduri. Suduri. Very well done. Very good job. Very well done. Fi Suduri. Give me the status of Suduri. Good job. Very well done. And this is Jar. Okay. How about Annasi? Annasi. Rough, Nasp or Jar? Jar. Very well done. 
okay now i'm going to give you the um, translation and you're going to tell me the reasons for the word to be jar in hearts of people emma type the statement in the the hearts of people in the hearts of people okay let's focus now why is the word jar the this word suduri so jar because it is coming after of or it is coming after preposition what do you guys think nahi bete no bete no 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 nabira my dear no bete dekho look at this one in the hearts in very good job it is coming after preposition yeah this is coming after preposition very good job and then if i ask you hearts of the people why is nasi jar what is happening to nasi because it is coming after of there is a hidden of here yeah so are we going to remind ourselves what are the two reasons for the word to be jar hmm who is going to tell me that after of what is the second one after preposition very well done no nahal this is you are not going to say zeer that is not the question so the the look at the, my question i am asking you the reasons the, why the word is getting zeer or why the word is getting kasra and which is also called a jar status and why is it getting so what is why the status is jar now you should know only two reasons okay okay there are only two reasons i am saying it little slower so that ishal can write it down i uh, there are only two reasons for the word to be jar okay and those reasons are let me bring that to you too so that you can remember looking at the slide these ones after of and after preposition and these slides are already shared with your moms so you need to please remind your moms to show you the slides these are all yours you can copy from these slides okay inshallah okay let's now i'm going to go back look at this one oh now i i think you guys are on it you guys can do it minal jinnati minal jinnati give me the status of al jinnati why is it jar ahmed why jar why jar why is it taking jar from the jins and the people from the jins and the people very good job very well done it is no had so nas is jar for two reasons it is coming after of it has kasra no hadia you are not going to say that answer you are going to not say this is this has kasra because you are the nas the start jar means kasra okay so there is only one reason for the nas to be jar i am responding to it because i am seeing lots of emojis uh, like lots of answers were given which were not supposed to be there but you are going to say here only one reason for the nas to be jar only one of the two reasons have to be there not both and this is not actually not a second reason either okay so if i ask you why al jinnati is jar which one which reason the first one or the second one after of or after preposition which one give me the option first option is after of second is after preposition exactly you are going to say this is coming after preposition to so my second option yeah second option so keep the of option first of option is should be the first one that is will be easy for you to keep in mind and then after uh, after preposition is your second option okay very good job very well done okay let me go to this one maybe i can find here oh look at this one um rab qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq why is this word al falaq jar rab of the falaq yeah rab of the falaq and this is about you talking about the night yeah of this is coming after of very good job look at the i number 5 wa min wa min min from sharri evil of and we meaning who is jealous so you are asking allah subhanahu wa taala i seek your refuge 
from evil of the jealous one. Yeah. F from evil of jealous one. Give me why the word sharijar. Why is this word sharijar? Rumesa, why is this word sherry in judge status? It is coming. No, no, no. It is not coming after off. Look at that. Uh, it is, is it coming after off? Zara, if I give you the uh, translation is from evil. From evil. From evil. Is this, um, uh, 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 is it off? No. It is not after off. It is coming after preposition. Second option. Clear? Everyone clear about it? Clear about it? Good job. Very good job. Because this is very easy. You are seeing a preposition here. My dear kids, preposition is here. So then you are not going to look for off. Only one reason. Okay. And now tell me, Sherry Hasidin. Why Hasidin? Why is this Hasidin? If I give you the translation is from evil of the jealous one. Exactly. This is coming after off. There is an off here. Okay. So you know the two, only there are two reasons. If I will find anyone getting confused about it tomorrow, I will be super sad because this is some, the concept which is very, very, very easy and especially easy for the brilliant minds like you. Okay. You guys are not an ordinary group of kids. You guys are very smart. So, mashallah, I want you guys to get it, okay? So, let's look at this one. One more example and then, then the, I will be uh, letting you guys go. Okay. Kufu 1, status. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Raf nasb jar. La, raf nasb jar. Yeah. Fatha. Nasb. Very good job. No, no, Nabira. Look at this one. Kufu 1. Kufu 1. Kufu 1. Kufu win. This is nasb. Good job. Elena, message in the main group, my dear. This is Nas. Good job. Very good job. Ahadun. Qul huwa Allahu ahadun. Dun. Ahadun. Raf. There is a Dhamma here. Yeah? That is the reason this is Raf. Very good job. Allahu samad. Allahu samad. Allah is... Okay, now um, I'm going to ask you guys. So listen very carefully. That uh, the translation here. Allah is self-sufficient. He is samad. Allah is self-sufficient. Give me the type of a sentence. Which kind of sentence you are looking at? If I give you the translation. Allah is samad. Very good job. Allah is self-sufficient. Nominal sentence. Very so proud of you all. Give me which one is the naming part. What is the main subject? Who is the more like most important thing here? Allah, Lafzul Jalala, Ismul Jalala. Yeah, that is my main subject. Which haraka should it have? And it does have that haraka. Which haraka? What should be the status of the Lafzul Jalala? Dhamma, very good job. Dhamma. Bilal, why did you say Fatha? Is this a detail? Detail comes in the uh, verbal sentence. Yeah. This is rough. This is fat, uh, Dhamma. Or Pesh. Okay. Very good job. Yeah. This is Dhamma. Because this is my naming part. And naming part is also called. What is naming part also called? What was the two men bringing the puzzles? What was the first puzzle name? Subject. Subject. Naming part is my subject. What is the subject about? And then I will hear about the next part. Which one is the second part? Which is the second part? Predicate. Very good job. Do you see a predicate here? Yes. Exactly. Yes, you see the predicate. You are the telling thing. You are telling about this time. You are not saying Allahu Akbaru. You are not saying Allah is greatest. This time you are saying Allah is self-sufficient. Yeah, he does not need anyone. He is like he is the one who... Anyone, everyone relies on him, but he does not need anyone to rely on. Yeah, exactly. So do you remember that uh, the statuses of the subject and the predicate has to be rough? And in this uh, uh, ayah, you are seeing that. Are you able to 
um appreciate that did you guys get this concept if you did type 22 then it's very easy this binomial sentence there are two parts to it one is called the naming part one is called the telling part both these parts need to be in the rough status and this is what we are seeing in Isaiah and we are super awesome yeah if you guys think that you guys are super awesome type 99 <laughs> type 99 if you think you guys are super awesome and super 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 awesome barakala fikum very good job and i do think too that you guys are super awesome may Allah santa Allah bless you all with that inshallah we'll end our session and tomorrow i'm going to bring you to uh, bring uh, like a new topic for you so you should be very 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 excited and that is the last property of ism which is called by the way what is the last property of ism which one is left type 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 okay so inshallah let me end our session here subhanakallah wa bihamdik nashhadu la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my very dear kids. And make sure when you are looking at your Quran and when you are memorizing something, you should ask yourself, okay, I know this is rough. I know this is uh, Nasr, I know this is Jar. Okay, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.